In this video, let us look into the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients of a cubic polynomial. So now that we've already seen the quadratic polynomial, the cubic polynomial is, well, not very different except for the fact that it's got three zeros, you know. So let alpha, beta, and gamma be the zeros of the cubic polynomial. So the first one would be sum of the zeros. So some of the zeros is nothing but alpha plus beta plus gamma equals minus b by a. That is uh, nothing but the coefficient, the negative of coefficient of x squared divided by the coefficient of x cubed. This will definitely, definitely be different from the quadratic because the cubic polynomial is something like this, you know, ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d equals zero, right? The coefficient of x cube will be a, the coefficient of x square will be b, and the coefficient of uh, x will be c, and the constant is going to be d. That's what it's going to be. Now, uh, all that you have to concentrate as far as this is concerned is this one. You need to know just so much. Alpha plus beta plus gamma equals minus b by a. Of course, you need to know these things. So, the next one would be the sum of the products of the zeros taken two at a time. So this is nothing but alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gam gamma alpha. So it says sum of the products of zeros taken two at a time equals C by A. Or that is equal to coefficient of X divided by coefficient of x cubed. So again, all that you have to know in this case is this relationship. That's all. The final one would be the product of the zeros. This is nothing but alpha times beta times gamma equals negative of d by a. This is equal to the constant term divided by the coefficient of x cube. So again, all that you have to remember here is this one. But of course, you have to know what is d and what is a. All right. So you need to remember these, get familiarized, you know, get yourself familiar with all these things. And you should be able to solve the problems based on relationship between zeros and coefficients of a cubic polynomial pretty easily. You, It should be a pretty easy job to do. So that's it. This uh, ends this video. So I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with problems based on relationship between zeros and coefficients of a cubic polynomial.